Oil and gas fields are present beneath inland water bodies as well as offshore. Exploring drilling and development of these oil and gas fields from the underwater locations is crucial to meet the ever-growing demand for these resources. Remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, are very useful in the oil and gas industry. They are robotic machines that can travel underwater to help with various activities related to subsea exploration and development. Why do we need ROVs? Divers exploring subsea environments for the oil and gas industry has its limitations. For one, there are risks involved. Secondly, going too deep inside the water might not be possible. Remotely operated vehicles, ROVs, are the solution to these problems. They make it possible to access the areas unreachable by divers. More complex exploration and development activities can be carried out with the help of ROVs. Repairs of subsea equipment would earlier require divers to venture deep below to examine the systems. However, this also comes with its limitations due to poor visibility and safety issues. Water currents, depth of the water and subsea temperatures also pose serious challenge to underwater repairs. ROVs can even be used for repairs of equipment underwater, making the operation and maintenance of subsea equipment easier. How do ROVs work? ROVs for subsea activities have been seeing a lot of development since 1990, when highly capable ROVs started being used. ROVs remain floating in water due to the integrated buoyancy units built into them. Today we have modern ROVs that are submerged in the water in a cage, also known as a garage. They are tethered to the garage by an umbilical. When required, the ROVs are let out of the cage. They can travel for up to 100 feet while still being tethered to the cage. An operator, also known as a pilot, can control the ROV to get the desired work done and also ensure that the ROV isn't tangled in its own umbilical. There are two types of ROVs. 1. Work Class ROVs these ROVs are used to perform a number of tasks. They have mechanical arms called manipulators to do these tasks. The arms have variable strengths and capabilities, with some arms being capable of lifting actions too. They can also be used to repair underwater equipment. They are powered electrically or hydraulically. 2. Observational Class ROVs these ROVs, also known as OBS ROVs, have visual and recording capabilities. They can transmit real-time visuals from under the water. They are used for surveying and inspections. The importance of ROVs in the oil and gas industry. ROVs have now become almost indispensable in the oil and gas industry. With a rise in the installation of underwater infrastructure for oil and gas field development, ROVs have become integral to the operations. How does Bulgin help in improving ROV operations? Bulgin provides components that can withstand extreme subsea conditions and keep connections intact and reliable. From cable assemblies through to custom deep-sea connectors and box builds, Bulgin can provide bespoke services and solutions that are uniquely tailored to customers' individual needs, giving you the very best results as we take an original concept from design through to manufacture. A recent custom service provided by Bulgin was for one of the largest manufacturers of subsea ROVs.